Hello and welcome to this new host of our video. My name's Alex. Today we're going to be looking at setting up a PPPoE server on an edge router. So in this setup I have two edge router X devices uh, and just for a bit of fun I've got a nanostation AC link point to point between the two. This is what we're going to be going for today. Uh, so we've got a blog post that outlines all the details about how to set this up uh, with screenshots for every single step along the way. Um, so you can check that out in the description below. Um, but we're going to set up the PPPoE server in this video and also the CPE device. We do have other videos and other blog posts going over how to set up a nanostation AC link. Um, so we'll skip that bit in this video, but we are going to have this as part of the setup to just give it more uh, of a WISP style connection setup. So first thing you want to do is set up the PPPoE server on sort of the master edge router. So I'm going to log into that one now. So this one's been factory reset. Um, so I've set it back to factory defaults. And we're going to go through the entire setup process now. First thing it does when you log in, it asks you, do you want to change the edge router from the default config and go through the, through the basic setup wizard? We're not going to go for that. Uh, what that does is it enables the default firewall and changes a lot of the ports around. So we're going to go ahead and press no. So I've got this edge router plugged into my Unify switch, um, which has got a UXG Pro, and that's giving it DHCP on, on port 1. It's also powering it on port uh, zero as well. But port zero by default is set to statically assigned. So we're going to go ahead and change the ports that the edge router is using. So I'm going to go actions config and then say DHCP for port zero. So port zero and port one are now going to obtain a DHCP IP address from my UXG network. And they both got they have it. You've got both got different IPs now. So my laptop or my, my computer is on the same subnet as the WAN side of this router. Uh, so I can actually get into it if I need to. So we're going to have port 0 as having as our WAN or our connection back to a network for internet access. And then port 4 is going to PoE power pass through to a nanostation. And on the CPE side we're going to have port 4 as a um, giving power out to the nanostation again. And then port 1 is going to go to a PoE injector. That's 24 volts, and then the LAN side of that PoE injector is going to plug into a laptop uh, so we can get on the internet as well. So what we're going to do is change the, we've now changed the ports that the edge router is using. So that's a good start. Uh, this is an optional step, uh, by the way. You don't actually need to go ahead and change the ports that the edge router is using, but for my setup, I'm using, I'm powering the edge router from PoE, so I had to change that uh, for my setup. So before we start, we're going to make a management network for our nanostation link between the two. We're going to go to Add Interface, Add VLAN, and then VLAN ID 5. Interface will be ETH4. This will be Management. Address will be our sub that we made for the nanostation link, which will be 192.168.50.0 slash 24. Or be 50.1 slash 24. Now you got, there you go, we've got have a new interface management and then Ethernet 4.5, that's indicating it's VLAN 5. Go across to services, add a DHCP server, DHCP name will be management, subnet will be dot zero, range start will be dot two, range stop two five four, routers dot one, DNS, we use Google's DNS for both. Press save. And our DHCP server is now made. So that's for the management network that we're going to get to in a minute. We're now going to do the PPPoE server. So we're going to use Ethernet 4 for our trouble PoE server because that's where the PoE out is on, on this particular edge router. So we could go to the services tab and then hit PPPoE. However, this is for radius servers only. So we do we will have a separate video at some point that will go over the radius setup for trouble PoE. However, to get the local PPPoE server working, we do need to go to the config tree instead. So we go to config tree, and then down to service, and then to PPPoE server, and then authentication, and the mode. So the mode will be local, and then we'll set preview. We did have an error there, um, but we, need, we do need to fill in all the extra details um, before it will actually take it. So we now go to local users and then username. So we're going to add a username. My one is going to be user001. And we'll update list. 
and then we'll go down to user 001 and then the password which will be password so we're not going to have a static IP address we're going to ha have the edge router hand that out from a pool then we're going to go down to client IP pool and we'll start we'll go 172.18.40.2 and we'll go down to 254. DNS servers, we're going to go for Google's DNS, good old Google's DNS again. And then we're going to ignore the radius section, and that is about it. We're going to go preview, and we should have the service mode local. We're going to say, yes, we want local authentication for users. We're going to give our username and password. Uh, start and stop for the, the pool, and then the two DNS servers. So we're going to apply that. And if all is good, you're not going to get an error, which we did get an error in this case. The thing we missed out was the first section in here. So nothing for access concentrator. Interface will be Ethernet 4, so to type that in, there's no drop down. MTU will click a bit 1480. And now if we click preview and apply, we should get all the details. So now we've got the extra details of this, the interface and MTU, so apply. And the configuration has been applied successfully. Now if we go back to services, once it's refreshed, services and then PPPOE. This section will be unable to be edited and and we can now go forward with connecting up the nanostation AC link and the CPE edge router. So we're now gonna verify that PPPOE works uh, and to do that, we can set up a PPPOE session on a Windows PC or a Mac as well. And there's two guides we've linked in the blog post that will show you how to do that and verify it works. So once that's all working, and I'm going to plug in my nano station. So I'm going to turn on the PoE pass through. So set Ethernet 4 to pass through. Say yes, and then save. I'm going to plug the nano station in now. So the nano station is now plugged in. I also unplugged Ethernet 1. That was like a temporary way of getting into the edge router with a default config. So I'm going to get rid of that IP address in there. So it's no address on Ethernet 1. I'm going to change my IP back to 205 so we can actually get into it. UBNT, UBNT. And we can see there, Ethernet 4, it's now got something plugged in once the, router, once the nano station has booted up. So yeah, we've got connected now. If we go to services, we should see the lease for the nano station come in in a minute. And there we go, management. And then I gave it a host name when I set it up initially of AP. So previously, when I set up the nano station, I connected it up to my UISP controller. So I've got the AP here. It's actually online now. All I needed to do was set the firewall and NAT, NAT, and then what you do is go to config and you put uh, enable the NAT rule configuration, use masquerade, choose the WAN connection, and then all protocols, and then it came online. So I can't actually get into it from here just because of the NAT is set up. Um, but once I'm at the CPE side of the connection, I'll be able to get into the nano station link and have a look at what's going on with it. So now the nano station link on the uh, so the AP side is set up. Uh, the edge router is configured for triple PoE. We'll now move on to the configuration of the CPE router. So I've now got the CPE edge router factory set and ready to go. So I'm logging with the default credentials of UBNT and then UBNT. So I've got this wired up as I've got a PO injector uh, plugged into port 1 or port 0 of the edge router powering it up. Uh, I'm, I'm plugged into the LAN port of that PO injector on this machine here. And I statically assigned an IP address within the the 192.168.1.1/24 range. So I'm going to go ahead and do a default config or basic setup wizard because I need the firewall setup as well. So go ahead and press yes on that one. And we'll allow that one. So for this, I need to change my Ethernet port or the Internet port to port 4. And before I do that, I'm going to set up uh, the PoE pass-through on port 4 first. So PoE and then pass-through. Nothing's plugged into the port. That's good. Let's double check that first before you turn it on. So PoE pass-through is now turned on. So I'm going to plug the nano station into port 4. So again, this is a pre-configured nanostation link. We have got other guides on the Hostify Support Center and the YouTube channel outlining uh, outlining how to set up a point-to-point -point or point-to-multipoint nanostation link. Uh, so this is pre-configured. I did this yesterday. Uh, it's just plugging into port four now. That's powered up. So that's the, that's important to do that before you change the one port. Otherwise, you'll have to start again. So go to Wizards, then Basic Setup. 
I want port 4 to be my internet WAN port. So I'm going to set PPPoE. So earlier in the video, I set my username and password on the first edge router uh, for Drupal PoE as user001 and then password as the password. Uh, we're going to use the DNS servers provided by PPPoE, one LAN, and I'm going to keep the existing users. This isn't particularly recommended, well, it's not recommended at all, really, to do this in production. This is a temporary setup, uh, only going to be used for this video. I'm going to be factory set and use the devices somewhere else once I've finished. So, again, don't uh, use the default username and password in production. It's not the best idea. So we're going to enable reporting. So I've got the username and password set on port 4. And then we shall apply those settings. So what it's going to do is just connect the client device, e.g. a laptop, to one of the LAN ports, which we will do. And then you're about to see the client device IP, and then we'll be able to get changes. So we'll apply changes. Then reboot the router. Yes, I'm sure. Of a fiddling around with the configuration. So our local switch is now on port 1, sorry, port 0 through port 3. And then we've got triple PoE server set up as well. So port 4 is the internet PPPoE session. And there's a, a tunnel, uh, PPPoE 0. So I'm going to turn on the PoE for port 4, and we should get an active session. So we'll go pass through, yes, save. The nice station has indeed set itself up, but it's booting up now. So the lights on the nice station, they're now connected. Uh, something connected on both ends, which is good. So we should, in a second, see the chill PoE session uh, connect. And there we go. We've got the... So it logged me out of the edge router while it connected. And there we go. We can see that the... PPPoE 0 is connected. We've got an IP address from our range that we set up on the device. I'm just going to turn off our Wi Fi. And we're now going to see if we get any internet through this. And we do. So we can see that we've got a wireless connection uh, between our station links and we've got a PPPoE 0 connection, or PPPoE connection between the two edge routers using local authentication. So we'll go back to our guide and see what we've actually done. So we've got the master edge router X and then the CPE edge router X. So I'm currently plugged into port 0 here, and I've got internet access through the PPE tunnel connected through the wireless link. And then the wireless link's got a management VLAN as well, and then out to the internet via port 0 on this edge router as well. So that's how you set up a local authentication-based PP3 server on edge router. Uh, just happened that I used an edge router X as the CP device, but you can use any any router, uh, so any cable compatible router, anything from TP-Link or even an ed, uh, UDR as well. Uh, and that's how you get it connected. If you want to learn more about Hostify, have a look at hostify.com. If you want to contact the team, you can do so at support at hostify.com, and you can find us on Twitter at hostify underscore net. The link to this blog post will be in the description below. If you like this sort of video, you can hit subscribe for more Ubiquity content coming very soon. My name's Alex, thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you again next time.